my name is uh, Nigel Guy and I'm a CAD engineer for PW Circuits and today in this short video we're going to be talking about legends on circuit boards, what the do's and what are the don'ts. Uh, so I've got an example of a uh, very simple board in front of me with the uh, legend and then the surface mount and PTH holes uh, in red. As you can see here there's a few problems with this legend uh, to say the least. The starters we've got legend over all these pads uh, in various places and the problem with that is, is when you go to uh, do your surface mount uh, of your components, you're going to end up with possible uh, er errors with the solder not fully connecting. You might get lifting and all sorts of issues with that. Uh, so ideally, even they don't want to be on any surface mount pads. Uh, second problem we've got also is the fact that these lines here are very close to the edge of the surface mount pads and you're going to get the same problem again if there's slight misregistration uh, you're going to end up with legend on the pads and the same issues again. We've also got component references underneath the components which is fine for a bare board but as soon as you start putting components over the top you're going to lose what those component references are uh, and then if you need to troubleshoot the board you're going to find it far more difficult to work out what components were to make sure everything is in the right place. We've also got an issue with the actual uh, reference is all over the place. They've got horizontal, vertical, 90 degrees one way, 90 degrees the other way. And as I'm sure you can agree, when you look at this board, it's quite difficult to work out which reference is which, and you're definitely rotating the board uh, to work out from different angles to try and read it all. So what I've done here is I've tidied up the legend uh, to show you what it could or should look like ideally. So to start off with, as you can see, all the components are now facing as the right way round rotated. I have got a couple that are rotated 90 degrees. If you haven't got space and you do need to rotate them so you can't all put them in one line, uh, then ideally you want to make sure they're still rotated the same way so you only have to turn the board once to read all those references. I've cleared the copper back, uh, cleared the legend back from all the copper in these places here and as you can see I've snipped it back just so you've got the lines either side of the pad to denote which uh, pad is connected to which with the component. I've got two different examples of clearing the legend back from the copper here. In this one here I've actually brought the legend inside the pad. So if I go back to the old one you can see it overlapping it. And now on the new one it's with inside uh, the pads. On this side I've just clipped it back. So you've still got, every, you've still got the corner ticks uh, but then it's just clipped back so you've not got any uh, legend over any of the resists. Uh, the same again with this here, and as you would agree, with all the references being pulled around slightly more, it makes it far easier to view it all. Now I've got another example of another problem, and that's with small legend text size. As you can see here, I mean if I show you here, the surface mount pads are in here, but the problem is, is because the text was made so small to start off with, uh, the lines effectively, that uh, it becomes very, very blobby and very difficult to distinguish some of the text. We can see it here because we zoomed in nice, but when it's small letters on a, on a circuit board physically in your hand, it's a lot harder to see. So you just need to make sure that your legends aren't too thin. Ideally, the minimum width your lines need to be is 0.18 millimeters. Uh, that's a standard minimum, uh, so we can go smaller if necessary. Uh, but that will make it a lot easier and also cheaper if you stick to that minimum when you're designing all your legends to make sure that the, uh, the, the lines are thick enough. And as an example of an alternative way of making it, if you haven't got enough space on the board, I've got a very simple one here, uh, where as you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five components, and to the side of it, the actual component references have been listed. So as you can see, it'd be very small text to put by each one, We've got enough space to put the references for the five of them side by side, which makes it a lot easier for troubleshooting, makes it easier for manufacture. You haven't got the text anywhere near the surface mount pads, so it makes it a whole lot easier and cleaner and clearer for you. Yep, so as I said at the start, my name is Nigel Guy, CAD engineer. More than happy to answer any questions. You can put it in the uh, comments below, or you can contact us. That's the contact details there, email address, phone number, or come chat to us on the website. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it, share it with anyone else that you might feel benefit and that will be fantastic as well. Thanks very much for listening. Speak to you again soon. Cheers.